Thank you for tuning in to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. A no judgment zone podcast that covers lifestyle, entertainment, news, and sports. Even though KC doesn't watch sports, but these are minor details. (laughs) By the way, he reads tarot cards too. Yes, I really mean it. He reads tarot cards, too. And now, the host you've tuned in for, K.C. Phoenix. Good morning from Dallas, and thank you, in Dallas, Texas, that is. Thank you for tuning in again for the Keeping It Real with K.C. podcast. I mentioned this before, probably about, a, I think about a week ago. Maybe two weeks ago. It's it's been a minute. And I had talked about my listeners because like I said before, I I'm I just sort of scratched the surface when it comes to you know the age of my listeners and all that other stuff, uh where they're from um, what platforms they're listening on, things like that. But I, I haven't really went into the details of it. And I mentioned that in one case, I knew the countries, but I didn't know I could go into the details of the country, which is pretty cool, too. Now, for those who are new... Now, hold on. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. Got that out the way. For the listeners who are new, my Firebirds, my my old time listeners, they already know this. But for the listeners who are new, I have different types of listeners. I have listeners who have been with me since the beginning. As in, they consistently listen to all of my podcast episodes. And to those listeners, I love you. Love you, love you. Thank you very much. Because as I always say, we all have free will and time is something that you don't get back. So when you choose to listen to moi, it it really makes me feel good that you're making the choice to grant me your time is what you're doing. So I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting me throughout all of these podcast episodes, which now I'm over 600 podcast episodes for this podcast now so thank you to my longtime listeners who have consistently listened to the keeping it real with KC podcast you have other listeners who they'll come in and they may listen once or twice and then they may come back or they may not come back but they listened and I thank those people too And then you have other listeners who will come in and binge listen, leave for a while, and then come back and binge listen again. Just like I had someone binge listen uh, last week to almost 100 episodes or whatever. And I... And to those people, if you can binge listen to my podcast... (laughs) You you know what? God bless you. Because <laughs> I don't even think I could binge listen to my podcast. <laughs> so to those people, thank you as well who come in, binge listen, disappear for a while, then come back in and binge listen to some more um, episodes and so on and so forth. I appreciate you. So those are my listeners, my types of listeners. As for the details, and this has changed over time, because when I started out, the funny thing is, is that a lot of my listenership came from Spotify. 
It really did. But now a lot of people are listening on Apple Podcasts. That's where they're consuming this particular podcast or the platform they're consuming it on. The other interesting thing is of late is that people have been listening to this podcast a lot on the web browser. And this fluctuates because it'll it will tell me usually. Okay, let me give you the current breakdown right quick. So. 18 percent of my listeners. Right as of right now, consume my podcast on Apple Podcasts, 18 percent. That's a lot of people. That's almost a fifth of my listenership. 9% consume it on Spotify, which is cool. We we like Spotify. Spotify actually owns Anchor. So it's it's all good. But this is the thing. Another 9% consumes it via web browser, meaning that someone is going to their web browser and typing in the address and and listening that way more than likely I I believe the thing that's happening is is that people are going to kirwkc.com and typing that in in listening to the podcast that way which is totally cool because what it is it's just the domain kirwkc.com I just forward it to the main podcasting platform which is Anchor when you you do that. So when you type in kirwkc.com, it takes you to the anchor platform. Now, 5% right now it they're consuming the podcast on Overcast, which is another podcasting platform. Now, there were others in here like Bullhorn and so on and so forth in in doing that. And I'm sure they're still in here. The other 59% is just other. So it's it's a plethora of other po- podcast platforms because it only does like the top four and then the rest it'll just mark as other is what it does. But yeah, on devices, 29% of my listeners listen to the podcast on their iPhone. listen to the podcast on Windows. 5% listen to the podcast on Android. And right now, other is 59% for that. As for male and female, my female listenership has consistently stayed around the 89 to 90%. I think it was at 91% at one point. In then it had been at 90 it's at 89 right now the male listenership has actually went up to 7% because I don't have that many male listeners so yeah it's at 7% so I have 89% female 7% male and 4% not specified for my listenership but I know the majority of my audience is female which I love that because I I love women so it's all good and I love you too men I really love you two men. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but the thing that threw me off, I never went into it, were the countries. Consistently, obviously the United States, because I'm an American. 91% is always been at 90 to 91% of my listeners have come from the United States. And it it fluctuates from time to time. Australia used to be in the top three. It's not anymore. Uh, what's the other one? Ireland used to be, I think, in the top four. It's not anymore. But people listen to this podcast from all over the world. Right now... It's the United States, which is at 91%, Canada at 2%, Russia at 2%, 
the UK at 1%, Spain at 1%, and Australia at 1%. And the rest is just zero where people have listened or they're listening, but it's not enough to register 1%, if that makes sense. Because obviously 91 plus 2 was 93, plus 2 was 90. Um, 5 plus 1 is 96, plus um, 1 is 97, plus 1 is 98. So that's only 98% going from the United States down to Australia. Everything else marked at, at zero is that... 2% where it's not large enough to register a percentage. So the obviously the countries mentioned United States, Canada, Russia, the UK, Spain and Australia, that's where the bulk of my listeners come from, but I have listeners in other countries too. I was goofing off one day and I happened to click on the arrow. I had never clicked on the arrow. And when I clicked on the arrow for the United States, it was like, oh, here's the states. I was like, oh, wow, it can do that. Because I told you, I don't go into all this stuff. I just do my show. That's all I do. I just do my show, my podcast, and if people listen, that's great. I obviously I want people to listen, but also I want people to have a good time. I want people to learn stuff, too. I want people to learn how to think for themselves as well. That's the biggest thing is like in, 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 you know, my thing. I also want people to look up information themselves. I don't want them to depend on me to give them all the information is I just want to get their brains going to like, OK, you know what? I think I'm going to run a search engine on that. <laughs> and and do that. That's what it's about. It's about critical thinking, which seems to be lost these days. But that's another episode for another day. We're not going to go into that right now. So I went into the United States. And one thing that shocked me, like really, really shocked me. Right now, 14% of my United States listeners come from California. The thing that shocked me, I thought that Los Angeles was my largest um, percentage. I thought it would be my largest percentage in California of my California listeners. It is not. That's what shocked me. Monrovia in California is my largest percentage 46 percent of my listeners in california come from monrovia 11 percent come from sacramento nine percent come from mountain view five percent come from los angeles i was not expecting that i thought los angeles was going to be number one but I, I guess I resonate more with people in Monrovia, Sacramento, and Mountain View. 2% from Coachella, 1% from San Diego, 1% from Woodland Hills, uh, 1% from Chico, 1% from Irvine, 1% from Moreno Valley, San Jose, Santa Ana, Chula Vista, Riverside, Los Alamitos, um, Fontana. Burlingame, San Francisco. <laughs> so, yeah, those are my listeners in California. These are the places that they come from. Now, as for Florida, this is interesting. Bradenton, 42% of my listeners come from Bradenton, Florida. And and shout out to all of these cities that I'm calling out right now. Because I, I love you for listening to me or have taken the time to listen to me once before. Clearwater Beach, 10%. Miami, 8%. Tampa, 5%. Orlando, 4%. Palmetto, 3%. Fort Lauderdale, Shout out to Fort Lauderdale, definitely. I used to be in Fort Lauderdale, too. And, of course, Miami, because I lived in Miami for a while. So, I know about Fort Lauderdale and Miami. Um, Fort Lauderdale, 3%. Jacksonville, 2%. Okay. 
I believe that's Dundon, Florida. Or is it Dune in Florida? The movie Dune is out right now. I've been meaning to watch that movie. I've, I'm trying to watch the original. It's just so, yeah, interesting. But I digress. Winter Haven, um, Pompano Beach, Lake Worth, Ormond Beach, Boynton Beach, Hollywood, Florida. I used to go to Hollywood, Florida. Shout out to you guys because I used to gamble in Hollywood, Florida when I would go to the casino. <laughs> So, yeah, um, <laughs> those were the days. And what else is on here? Uh, okay, I might butcher this name. Apopka, Florida. So, yeah, for Florida. So, that's pretty cool. It's It's just really interesting. So, I have... Listeners, let me name the states. So I have California, Florida. So California is 14%. Florida is 12%. Texas is 10%. Virginia, shout out to Virginia, is 9%. Washington State is 7%. Nevada is 7%. Ohio is 6%. Massachusetts is 4%. Georgia is 3%. Illinois is 3%. Pennsylvania, 3%. New York State, 3%. Um, North Carolina, 2%. Maryland, 2%. New Jersey, 2%. Oregon, or Oregon, 1%. All of these following are 1%. Oklahoma, Arizona, Louisiana, Minnesota, South Carolina, Tennessee, Michigan, Alabama, Mississippi, Indiana, and Kentucky are all 1%, which is just crazy. Now, this is the interesting thing that threw me off when I was listening. Okay, we have more maintenance going on. Oh, joy. For, I told you Russia was 2%. The thing that shocked me was that for Russia, I just knew that Moscow was one of the cities that listened to this podcast. In Russia, I'm just like, oh, some people are listening to me in Moscow. Nope. (laughs) Moscow. Okay. I have to... uh, I have tried to pronounce this name. I've listened to people say the name. And it has not stuck with me yet. So, for the people listening in Russia, don't be mad at me. Please, don't be mad at me. (laughs) Okay, hold on. Um, Kaba... Kaba, Kaba, Rots, Kaba, Rots, Kaba, Rovisk, Kaba, Rovisk. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Kaba, Rovisk. I'm pretty sure. Kaba, Rovisk. Now, when I discovered that this particular city, listens to me, because that's the only city in Russia. 100% of my Russian listeners come from this city. <laughs> Kaba, Rovisk. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. But I did do research. So so I did research on your city. And I thought it was interesting. Khabarovsk is in eastern Russia. Didn't know that. Hadn't heard of the city until now. Until I found out where my Russian listenership was coming from. Because as I said before, it's, it wasn't broken up like all these other places. It, it's just this one city. <laughs> I don't know what it is about me in this city. Now, I also found out that um, Khabarovsk is a popular spot because some celebrities go there too. Maybe there's some celebrities listening to the podcast, so shout out to you. But in addition to that, Khabarovsk is 18 miles from the China border. So it's right by China. So it's really in East Russia. Is right by the Chinese border. So I thought that was kind of interesting. There was something else they had said about Khabarovsk in regards to with the museum and the history. I had seen the river 
and stuff because I was I was watching something on um, YouTube and it was showing uh, the it was like a travel company that was recording stuff. I, I think the video was made in 2018 or, or something like that. And they were showing the river, showing the that, um, of course, the border as well. But there was something else they mentioned. It was that celebrities sometimes go there. It's kind of popular for celebrities to go. And there was something else about the city. But for the most part, it seems to be like a low-key city in Russia as well. So now I'm kind of curious. I I, kind of want to visit just to see for myself. <laughs> and and do that. But shout out to Kabarovsk and hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. Thank you to um those in Russia who are listening to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. And then one other one that kind of threw me for a loop was Spain. Because even though 1% of my listeners come from Spain. There are a lot of people in Spain <laughs> that have listened to the show because I had seen the cities. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of cities here. So I just want to give a shout out to these cities right quick. So as of right now, in Spain, even though it's only, what is it? Was it 1% or 2%? What are we at? Spain's one, yeah, 1% right now. Obviously, it fluctuates. But for my listeners in Spain, of that 1%, 28% are from Catalonia, 26% Madrid, 19% Valencia, 12%. Andalusia. I believe I pronounce I pronounced that correctly. 5% Basque count Basque country. And 2% um Cast Okay, the L's are Y's in Spanish. So is Castille or Castille? Castille? Castille and Leon. Is 2%. Uh, another 2%. La Rioja. Which is R-I-O-J-A. Because the J's are H's. So yeah. I know a few things about Spanish. I told you I lived in Miami. <laughs> um, another 2%. Oregon. Another 2%. Um. I'm pausing because I have to figure out is it mer- that seems like because U's are U's so it's mer- Mercia is M-U-R-C-I-A so but it wouldn't be mer- Murcia Murcia I believe Murcia I think that's right Murcia hopefully I said that right um and then another 2% Galicia is what that is in Spain, which I thought was kind of crazy. So shout out to all of those cities in Spain. Hopefully I didn't do too bad of a job of pronouncing them. If I, if I didn't do a good job, just don't hold it against me. <laughs> don't hold it against me. Uh, where else? Um, Canada there 82% of my listeners in Canada come from Ontario 11% from Alberta and then 6% from British Columbia and the United Kingdom 90% of my listeners come from England 3% of my listeners come from Wales. 3% of my listeners come from Scotland. And 3% 
of my listeners come from Northern Ireland. Pretty cool. All right. In Australia. So, in Australia, 70% of my listeners come from New South Wales. 10% of my listeners come from Victoria. 7% of my listeners come from the Australian Capital Territory. 5% come from Queensland, 5% Western Australia, and 3% South Australia. So that's pretty cool. And some of the other countries where they don't necessarily register because it's, it's not a lot of listeners. Let's see... If they have, it doesn't give the option for the arrows on the other countries like Switzerland and Lebanon and Pakistan and Iraq and Egypt and India and so on and so forth. So I would be curious to see as listenership grows in some of those countries, what cities those people are in. So that's pretty cool. But I just wanted to go over that because I thought it was interesting to see because the one with Russia just blew my mind. I just knew Moscow was going to be on the list and it wasn't. <laughs> but it it taught me about a new city. Well, not a new city. Obviously, the city's been there. It gave me new information about another city in Russia. So it was all cool. It's all good. Regardless of what city you're in, regardless of what country you're in, and even if you are an extraterrestrial that has access to what's going on on Earth, because remember I had mentioned that yesterday where um, I was watching this thing on YouTube and I forgot what her name was, but she was talking about what she believes is that time travel exists and that aliens are really people who travel in time back to us, which is kind of interesting. It's an interesting theory. I mean, I don't discount anything. I, I really, really don't. It's hard to rule out things these days because the when it comes to the universe, I guess you don't know what you don't know. We can think we know at times, but you don't know what you don't know. But yeah, she was saying that. And also, um, when I spoke with Wajid, which I want to have him back on the show for Conversations with KC. Speaking of that, I was running some tests on the new platform. I'm not a huge fan yet with, with this new platform. If I can work through the kinks of it, my um, friend who lives in Vegas was helping me with, we were testing it together. If I can work through the kinks of it, then I may use the platform, but I I will look into other ones too, because I just want a really, really good platform to do interviews with. I do not want to do Zoom. I know somebody saying, use Zoom. No, I don't want to use Zoom. I don't like Zoom. Um, So I'm about to experiment with another platform on top of the one that I'm already working with. I just know that Google Voice, it, it's got the axe. <laughs> so, yeah. But back to the alien thing. Um, Wajee was explaining that, and you can listen to the um, interview. It's, it's an old interview. It was back in, when did I interview Wajid? I think that was, sheesh, maybe May or July. So scroll back through my episodes with um, conversations with KC. As a matter of fact, I have my Excel spreadsheet in front of me. I can, hold on. I can tell you what date it was uploaded. Wajee, 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 Wajee. Where? It was in May. And the episode was uploaded May 27th. So if you go back to to the May episodes, um, the title of it is Interview with Cosmic Renaissance Man Wajid Hassan and it was uploaded May 27th. You can listen to that episode but Wajid and I were talking about a lot of things when it comes to UFOs and, and stuff like that and just other realms and 
that's what I'm saying. Regardless of what country you're in, what city you're in, what state you're in, what island you're on, what realm you're in, because for all I know, some body in another realm could be listening to the keeping it real with kc podcast and i wouldn't know it because obviously that would not show up in the analytics wouldn't that be something if that showed up in the analytics <laughs> it'd be like the astral realm 10 percent of your listeners come from the astral realm i'd be like oh wow <laughs> but yeah i'm just saying it's just it means a lot to me that everyone is taking time to listen and I appreciate you and I will continue to give you as much of me as I'm able to give regardless of because there have been some days and you know my longtime listeners my firebirds you know what I went through in 2020 with mono and parvo <laughs> and <laughs> yeah still adjusting to this day but these are minor details but as long as I can turn on this microphone and as long as as the divine gives me a voice and the energy, you got me. I'm here. I'm here to talk to you. I'm here to tell you about new things. And I'm going to do a news story. This interesting news story I, I discovered yesterday, I'll more than likely do it tomorrow. Hopefully. Knock on wood. We'll see what happens. But yeah. And I did make the healthy pound cake. I plan on telling you how that turned out too. That was an experience. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I I really, really, really just again thank everyone. Until next time. KIRWKC.com main podcasting platform. You know I had to say it before I go. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Over three dozen to be exact. K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. Even though the only thing I'm really doing is YouTube these days. I'm uploading the um, episodes, the audio episodes to YouTube. Sometimes I do video, but eh, it's whatever. Until next time. Be blessed.